there, it's Dawn, and guess what we're doing today? Yes, we're doing a sink, strain, and pour. But my inspiration today is a peacock feather. All the pretty colors in there. There's blues, there's greens, there's purples and golds. They are just so pretty and iridescent. So, the colors I've chosen today are metallic purple, metallic blue, metallic cobalt blue. This is uh, Liquitex Basics in deep violet with a little bit of black added to it to deepen it. I got some gold here and I put some extra fine glitter in it because, well, I want to add some bling to my painting. And then I've also got a bright green here. I went ahead and covered the canvas with some black paint here just to give the other paint something to roll over. And yeah, without further ado, let's get to the fun stuff. So, say, whoo, which color to start with? You know what, we'll just, maybe we'll just go in line. I'm gonna pour them in individually instead of in a dirty pour. Hoping to get some better definition in the pattern. I do like my sink strainer pours. They tend to be so happy and interesting looking. There we go. Uh, let's do our sparkly gold next. Yeah, I was just, I have a vase full of peacock feathers and I was just looking at them thinking, gosh, those are pretty. And I thought to myself, well, why can't we do a pour in those colors? And the thing is, we can. So that was the inspiration for today. Now, if you've seen a sink strainer pour before, I imagine this will be not a whole lot different, but maybe, just maybe, these colors will just be spectacular. At least that's my hope. But the end result will be this one really, really gorgeous pour. However, I think I'm going to carefully pour these paints for the next few minutes. And I haven't decided, should I let you listen to me chatter? Or should I just speed it up? Oh, you know what? I just made an executive decision. You can listen to me chatter. I don't know about where you are, but winter finally just showed up to southwestern Ontario this past weekend after it being very, very mild and having a green Christmas. So we had a snowstorm and snow squalls off of Lake Huron and temperatures of about minus 20 Celsius, which led to... Um, Wind chills are just crazy cold, like minus 30 plus. So it was, um, it was an interesting weekend, to say the least, at least weather-wise. I did not go outside, but I did, I did rustle up gloves and a scarf for my hubby so that he would not be cold because he had to go out and shovel the driveway. He's a good man. So I've never done glitter in my paint. Now, I not that I haven't done glitter before. I've like sprinkled it like whew, fairy dust <laughs> over top of a pour that was already done and wet and the glitter stuck and it made for a cool effect. But I've never mixed it into the paint, so I'm not really sure how that's going to go. But I'm kind of hoping that, you know what, maybe it'll just add that, that pretty bling factor to the painting. 
Or it might look stupid, I don't know. <laughs> but I like to experiment. And I'm taking you along for the ride. I just remembered I was going to put some black in this, and I haven't. I'm just like, mm, but I have enough paint. I probably don't need to use this black, so I think I'll just save it for another pour. Is it metallic cobalt blue? It is one of my favorite colors in the Artist Sloth line. Because, I don't know, it's just the prettiest blue. And I don't usually use this bright green, but I don't know if you can see it. But as I move it in the light, there's some pale iridescent green in the feather. So I thought, well, why not, right? So. Paint is working its way out towards the edges and kind of an interesting pattern is forming. Well, the usual pattern, but I've tried to change up the colors often. But maybe when I stretch them, there'll be more gradients of color. <laughs> I really haven't used much of this purple yet, so let's. Just throw a bunch in there. Back to the blues. And I still have a lot of gold here, so let's, yeah, let's put the gold in. I can see some little cells here and there, and I think that's just from the flow troll. That's the pouring medium that I use. I don't mind a few little cells in a sink stringer pour, but I don't want too, too many. Okay, that's pretty much the end of that blue. <laughs> a little more gold again. Just a little bit. I have some high contrast in the middle, so. Oh, you can have that drop. There we go. I'll kind of go dark light, dark light. There we go. Some bright green. Too much bright green and metallic cobalt blue. Maybe we'll just finish that up because we can. Oh, I see that. All right, um, back to gold. Dark, dark purple. I'll finish that up too. can mix that thick enough that, oh, I got some paint on my glove. I just want to stay clean until ready to tilt here. All right, gold and green or green and gold? Green and gold. Because why not? Appears that my table is not level. I see the paint making a run for it up there. So let's hurry up so we can get tilting it and not lose any paint. At least I hope not. 
All right. Actually, I'm just going to put a spot of black in the middle just for a wee bit of contrast. All right. Got some gold left over, too. That's all right. Okay. Mm, it's still flowing out of there, but you know what? We can just lift it and encourage it to finish flowing. I think we can move it over. Actually, I want that right out of my way. Oh, that's pretty there. All right. Well, let's see how this goes. There is quite a bit of paint on here. Oh, cuts are sticking to the bottom here. I sprayed the back of my canvas and tightened it up before I started. And it appears a little bit of dampness has caused the cups to stick to the back. <laughs> There's only two on the table. Okay. I'm going to try to work it back and forth a little bit. Hopefully keep the middle pattern as much as possible. Back to the middle with that, and then over this way, coming towards the corner, back. I don't mind the diamond shape of the flower in the middle. And I'll stretch it out just back to the center. Tiny bit of black negative space in each corner, which is not so bad. I'm just trying to figure out which way is this painting speaking to me? Is it that way? <laughs> Stuck my fingers in there. Or There you have it. It is a sink stringer pour done in some peacock colors. And the gold really took it over, the gold and the blue, which surprised me. But hey, I was I was happy to try anyway. So I'll be back with a close-up in just a moment. Let's go in for the close-up. So we've got lots of sparkle from the glitter and there's some interesting spots there on the right where the paints have stretched. Got just a little bit of black negative space up in the corner. So it didn't turn out exactly as I 
had envisioned, but you know what? I think it's still a pretty cool painting. Yeah, I think so. This is what I made from the runoff paint. I got in there and manipulated the paint a little bit. But it almost looks like the Aurora Borealis, so I think this will make a nice background for an embellish pour. Sweet! Hey, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Before you go, make sure you like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.